here at Service High School in Alaska. My whole family has been involved with Special Olympics since I was about six or seven years old when Brendan first became an athlete. And what was the first sport that you did with Special Olympics? Track and field. Track and field. But it's so wonderful to see how much the program has grown since. Our mother is a service special education teacher. Uh. What makes our <laughs> students at Service so amazing and so special is the way that they embrace this whole culture of um, inclusivity. And it really is a community where everybody has a place, everybody belongs. Good day, Service High. First Friday Poetry Club meets today at lunch in D33. Come write, share, or just listen. Dance Club meets in G108. So Service High is a Special Olympics Unified Champion School. As a school, we have just a great climate. I don't really ever have student-student conflict interactions, and I think that's really unique, and I do think that stems from a lot of the culture um, starting with our special ed program and, and our special Olympics program. Special Olympics Unified Champion Schools provide inclusive opportunities for students with and without intellectual and developmental disabilities um, from elementary school all the way to high school. And then we support the transition from our school program to our community program statewide. So that way there's inclusive opportunities from when they're in school and beyond into the community. Here at Service, our students who have intellectual disabilities are included in the general education population. Uh, you see it in the halls, you see it in our classrooms. Service High School is an inclusive place. I'm not trying to be biased or anything, but you go over to other schools and I think that it's not exactly the same environment. Service is just extraordinary in how we are able to just outreach to practically everybody and everybody feels free to come and join. Cesar McKing, and with Jordan, she, she, she was a prom queen. Yeah. She was prom queen, you're prom king. And you guys, didn't you guys dance on the dance floor? Get groovy with it? Yeah. Yeah. A school's a microcosm of, of the real world out there, right? So you want your students to be prepared to be really awesome contributing members of society. Um, and you do that through inclusion, through acceptance of others. So when they graduate, they can continue to do that into her adult life. What you see with our students in Partners Club or all the wonderful things that make us a unified champion school, all three of my kids graduated from service. I had one year with them when they all, all were here at the same time. I think that Partners Club enriched all of their lives and the experience that they had here. Partners Club is a social inclusion group for students with and without disabilities. Like when you walk into the special education class and to see 60, 70 people in there and everyone's smiling and hanging out and eat lunch together, I mean, like what a, what a neat thing to see inclusion um, at, like, at its purest form. Partners Club is like located in the middle of the school, like right, like it's right in the center. And I'm really proud of Services Partners Club because it's one of the largest in the state and almost like the nation. It's pretty, it's pretty huge. And I just, I'm really glad that I have that like opportunity to be part of it. The purpose for us at Service High School is to prepare our kids to be college career and life ready. The social aspect is a huge component of being able to be in the workforce, to go to college, or just survive outside of the safety net that is school. I am Niobe. I am 17 years old, and I am a lovable, true artist. You are. <laughs> Niobe is my daughter. She is very, very independent. She knows what she wants in the world, and um, she's a go-getter. Niobe is so excited and so happy to be in here. Her artwork is so detailed and she takes the time to put that attention into it. Her shading is beautiful. Niobe is such a cool personality because she has this way of, uh, of drawing people to her. And Partners Club has just been a great way for her to, to get to show that off and, and for kids to get to know her in this way. Kids that sign up for this program don't realize that a lot of these kids don't have friends. So when I walk in here and I see these guys go out of their way to include every one of these kids in this program, 
It makes me so proud of them and I just want to hug their faces so hard. It's obvious the benefits that Unified provides to our students. This is a life-changing experience for so many of them. It's been the most amazing experience. I have met so many new people, so many new stories that I've learned about. It was a really great time here at Sherwood High School. Watching those interactions happen between students with and without intellectual disabilities, sometimes the thing that I wish people would know is to treat people with intellectual disabilities like they would anyone else. Studies show that when students have a trusted mentor they can talk to, they do better at school and graduation rates increase. It boils down to students who are just aware of others and are aware of the differences and, and appreciate that. They're the students who will look around and they notice when someone is alone. That's the beauty of the program and that's what makes it so so amazing. I hear all the time students who either go to another school then come back or transfer from another school and they, they can't put it into words but they just say something is different here. There's just this acceptance. We're not perfect. We have social issues, you know, that, that happens but I think we're way less than, than other schools. Every parent longs for their babies to fit in. Doesn't matter if, what ability they have or don't have. Um, and at this school, Everyone is accepted.